Okay students, welcome to the second day of the summer school social studies session. Today is Tuesday, July 18th, 2023. Today, we will be learning about Rosa Parks. Let's begin learning about her. Who is Rosa Parks? Rosa Parks was born with the name Rosa Louise McCauley on February 4, 1913 in Tuskegee, Alabama. She was an American civil rights activist who was most well known for playing a crucial part in the Montgomery bus boycott during her time in the movement. She has been recognized by the Congress of the United States as the pioneering First Lady of the Civil Rights Movement and the pioneering mother of the Freedom Movement. In 1932, Rosa met Raymond Parks, a barber from Montgomery, and they got married. She was also known for refusing to give up her seat to a white passenger on a bus on December 1, 1955, during the Montgomery bus boycott. In the end, Rosa Parks passed away on October 24, 2005, at the age of 92, in her apartment on the east side of Detroit. Her death was the result of natural causes. She never had any children with her spouse, and she outlived her only brother. Neither of them ever had children. Anyway, now that we have learned about Rosa Parks, we will answer some facts that you all know about her. Does anyone else have anything they would like to share about Rosa Parks? You know what, let me explain who Rosa Parks was. Rosa Parks was a very stupid and racist asshole who talked back to the bus driver. When the bus driver told her to move, she fatally attacked the passenger with her cane. She beat his eyes so badly that he fell on the bus and was pronounced dead at the scene. She was murdered on October 24, 2005 by that same bus driver at a garbage truck in Detroit, so there you have it. That was the life of Rosa fucking Parks. Um, Dora, what the fuck was that all about? Rosa Parks wasn't murdered, and if she was, it would have been said in her autopsy. Second, she didn't talk back to the bus driver, she just refused to give up her seat because she felt angry in the way she was being treated. Why would you make up a false statement like that? That's not a false statement, it's true. Rosa Parks was murdered and the medical examiner made it up. It's all over my YouTube channel, and I want Rosa Parks' death investigation reopened. Actually, me, Little Bill, Viviana, Javier, Senehid, Stefan, and Kendall are starting to agree with Dora. Rosa Parks' death investigation needs to be reopened because she was stabbed to death. And we will not give up until Rosa Parks gets justice. Dominic, Rosa Parks clearly does not need justice. She died naturally. How could she have been stabbed to death when she was her natural self? There's absolutely no evidence to prove that Rosa Parks was murdered. Get your fucking facts straight. Yes she was murdered, and we can prove it to you. You know what? We're starting to think that you murdered her. You are the suspect in Rosa Parks' death. I hope you get executed for murdering her. Sinyad, I did not, I repeat, not, murder Rosa Parks. She died in Michigan, and I was living in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho at the time. It takes a full day to drive from Coeur d'Alene to Detroit. If you guys accuse me of murdering Rosa Parks again, you will go to the juvenile detention room with Mrs. Clementine. Brian Driscoll murdered Rosa Parks. 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 Rosa Parks. Oh my motherfucking goodness. Dora, Little Bill, Viviana, Dominic, Javier, John, Stefan, Kendall, and Sinyad. How fucking dare you falsely accuse me of stabbing Rosa Parks to death? You should know that I would never do that to her. You know what? That's it. All nine of you are now earning nine individual tickets to the juvenile detention room with Mrs. Clementine. Now get the fuck out of my classroom now and go to the juvenile detention room with Mrs. Clementine right now. What the motherfucking absolute motherfucking fuck? I am getting completely pissed off by these sons of bitches showing up to this room another fucking time. Now listen to me. You nine fucking dingbats, stop fucking crying like babies, since you guys accused Mr. Driscoll of stabbing Rosa Parks to death, you will stay with me in this juvenile detention room until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning for detention, I am not letting you nine escape because I want to fucking discipline you, anyway, time to stay here until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, I have already informed your parents over the phone. You will have to stay here for that long because I don't want you guys escaping from the building, and if you guys try to take the key, I'm sorry, but I have the key in a special safe and you will never get the code to the safe, now stay here and the door will be locked until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, the 19 and a half hour detention starts now, now shut the fuck up and stop fucking crying like babies.